welcome to Piano with Laro. My name is Dom Lawrence and I'm very delighted to have you on board today. So this channel is about assisting beginners and amateur players who have little or no background in musical theory. Our aim is to assist you to be able to play by air. And so each month, each week, we will try to share some of the basic rudiments and theory and I hope that this will help you on your musical journey. So we look forward to your timely comments and feedback. Okay, so let's jump in right away. This first lesson is very basic. So if you have past this level then you may want to skip. So the first thing I want to talk about this morning is learning the notes on the keyboard. It's important to learn the notes on the keyboard before we go further into learning to play. So a quick look at the keyboard will show us that we have a set of white keys and a set of black keys. White keys are what we refer to as naturals. Black keys represent sharps or flats. So if we say sharpen a note or flatten a note, we speak into a black key, so to speak. But more on that later on. So we have learned also that in looking at the keyboard, whether it's the organ, the piano, the synthesizer, whatever it is, you will notice groups of two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys, and this is repeated right across the keyboard. Later on, we'll talk about how these function and relate to each other and to the white keys. But right now, we're focusing on this lesson, we're focusing on the white keys. All right, so now that we are familiar, we'll look at musical sounds. What are musical sounds? Musical sounds are whatever we produce here. These are musical sounds. Now, musical sounds are named in ascending order from the first seven letters of the alphabet. So we're talking about A, which is right here, B, beside it, C, D, E, F, and G. So those are the letters of the alphabet that we use in music. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now these notes are repeated across the keyboard. So there's a low A here, there's another A right here, there's another A, and so on. B is right here, that's another B, that's another B, that's another B, and so on. C is right here, there is another C, and so on. So these notes are repeated as you go higher or lower on the keyboard. Now, let us talk about scales. To be able to play chords, progressions, have to learn to play scales because most or all of these beautiful sounds and compositions that we hear and play are constructed of the scales, the various scales. Now there are a number of scales out there but we are, today we are talking about the major scale. We'll delve deeper into scales later on. So now the first scale we want to construct is the C major scale. C major scale. To construct the C major scale, we start on the note C, which is right here. And this is what we call middle C. Middle C because it is somewhere in the middle of the keyboard. But this is also C. This is also C. This is also C. But we're starting at middle C to play the scale. And we're using the thumb because we say it's seven notes 
So we start, but we have five fingers. So let's see how we use the fingers. So we use the thumb on the C. D, we use the second finger. E, the third finger. We move the thumb across to F for the fourth note. And the second finger for the G, third finger for the A, fourth finger for B. And we are back at C. So we start on a C, we end on a higher C, and that's your ascending C major scale. Now in descending the scale, we follow this finger pattern. Pinky, fourth finger, third finger, second finger, first finger, thumb, Third finger stretches across like this. Second finger, and we're back to C. The left hand, we start the scale with the pinky. Thumb on the G. Third finger stretches across. And that's your C major scale. Descending now, the thumb comes across to the G, and that's your C major scale. Now beginners, you need to practice these scales. Practice, get it in into your right hand first, and practice the left hand. comfortable with both hands to try playing both hands together. And there you have your C major scale. Try to get your speed in. So we hope you learned something today and I look forward to having you in the next lesson when we look a little closer at a formula for constructing all major scales. So God bless. See you next time.